okay. A little bit protective, but all right. You know your child better than I do. The point is, the point is that the means of like, personal transport is more like home and right. Yeah. He expects that he will be, that somebody will drive the entire like 250 miles down to Rockford, um, pick him up, and then bring him back home, and then do the same until you drop back home. Right? How often? Whenever he is at home? Just whenever he wants. It's only two or three times a semester. Um, that's kind of reasonable, but... Uh, so, that's also like, you gotta come up with like a lot of gas. That's like 16 hours total. Like, over but, the but, of but oh, I guess only it only really makes things for, think, sense for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Like, hey, go go get everybody together for Thanksgiving. That's what you're So, um, he has uh, texted me and my mom, and been like, would either of you be willing to drive Redricksburg instead of Bradford. And I, I still think like no. Like the reason I don't go to like the Frederick for the locals uh, is is because it's still like an hour and a half away. Yeah, it's quite a trek. Quite, quite a trek. Um, hour and a half away from McLean, huh? Uh, I think it's actually only an hour. It's like, like an hour. I, I assume like Stafford traffic is like a problem, right? Like Stafford slows down the process quite a bit. Got it. Yeah, I've never really had too much trouble. I haven't, I haven't gone to effort that often, but... No, exactly. Like, I haven't had it. Is it the cockfighting problem? Yeah. <laughs> it's all the cockfights they do down there. But, like, I don't want to drive through Stafford traffic. Stafford is, like, awful about traffic, and it's, like, never put in Stafford's fault. It's probably have to get through Stafford to, like, get where they want to go. Anyway. But, and we keep telling him, right? But, like, so Bradford has this thing called the Mega Bus, right? It's... Like fifty or a hundred dollars round trip, right? It's either fifty dollars one way or fifty dollars round trip, right? Um, yeah. it will drive you from Radford to Union Station. It all Union Station in DC, right? Okay, that's and pretty also, close to you. Yeah, like it also makes a bunch of like I get off to go to work at Union Station. Yeah, right. Um, that's like a forty-five minute metro ride to the McLean Metro Station, which is like right next to my house. Basically. Yeah. Um, so we keep telling him like. So currently he doesn't want to drive. He doesn't know why. Like he keeps trying to find other people who like give him drive, right? Yeah. If he takes this bus, he doesn't have to drive. Save they, pro gas. they provide him phone a phone, phone charger. Saves it definitely saves money compared to gas, right? Um, because that's like two tanks of gas so like that much. You can do work on the bus or like listen or read. Yeah, so you can do anything on the bus because you're not driving, right? Um it's basically just like like Amtrak or like slightly more personalized, right? Um, and then, like, maybe me and my mom could go to Union Station and pick him up, but also we can just metro. Yeah, go to the McLean Metro Station, where then instead of driving, like, half an hour into D.C., um, where we're potentially going to kill ourselves, we're going to turn into an hour because the Jordan should be high. Yeah, high place, so, like, um, we could just drive, like, you know, two minutes to, like, the McLean Metro Station, and then we're just there. Yeah, and, and the best part of a metro station, if it's a 45 minute ride, it is a 45 minute ride every time. Yes! Like, that is the- I love our metro for that. It's so good. Like, we- we have- our- our metro really is kind of the envy of the nation. It's one of the best in the- in our nation. Yeah. And like, honestly, for the world, it's not bad. Yeah. Like, like it's it, not like Chinese high-speed rail or anything. It's, it's not- it's not the like fucking the Tokyo spiderweb of, of rails, <laughs> but like, you can get where you're going around DC, especially. Like, you're trying like, without getting into it. I can get, I have to place like, to like, anywhere in Maryland functioning in like, half an hour to a Yeah, that's Saturday. It doesn't go anywhere near Silver Spring. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably, probably the best that, you know, it's mostly on. <laughs> uh, okay, so, Maryland Slander aside, keep going. Uh, but yeah, so like, we just keep trying to tell them this, and they're like, oh no, I'm just gonna go for that, because this is close to ODU. Um, ODU is not close to us. It's not. But like, you know, if she drives from ODU to Radford, then up to here, or apparently to Fredericksburg. Does she live up here? Uh, she lives in Great Falls. Great Falls again? Great Falls. It's, um, you know where Ashburn is? Yeah. Uh, next to that. Okay, got it. Sorry, I don't go that No, that's fair. Like, on, on, only devils play there. Yeah, Great Falls is awful and I hate it and um 
pero ha pasado la fase de Um, you know what? Yeah, that's going to be a puzzle a little bit. So, like, Great Falls, right? Is just Georgetown Pipeway, or Parkway. And then, like, a bunch of roads leading off of Georgetown Parkway. Which means it's really easy for cops to set up speed traps on that road. Okay. Um, which they do very frequently. Um, but also, just like, the city just sucks. Because you're either in just the one road that the city has, or you, like, feel like you're in, like, in no way zone, right? Um, the city has like nothing interesting of its own, functionally. Like it has no real existence besides being near like other places. It has like a nice like trail. Um, oh yeah, the Great Falls Trail is nice. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it's really long too. You can yeah. walk there for hours. So nice. Definitely had a body in there. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to hide a body. Uh, who would it be, and what, and like, how would you have done it, and how would you go about it? So, that's a tough thing. There's not, I don't really want a lot of, like, I don't want a lot of people killed. But let's say, for example, it would be, and it would be illegal for me to say this, but... <laughs> go on. Let's say that, and you shouldn't say this, uh, and it's not illegal for me to say it, because I'm telling you not to say it, but if you said, I want to kill the president of the United States. <laughs> that would be illegal. You're not allowed to say that. Um, but um, if you were successful, that's a totally <laughs> different statement. <laughs> um, that's fine. And and then, I, and then you could you know it is totally legal to say, um, in the Great Falls Trail, uh, and I would start an ash burn uh, and get a handful of friends to find cameras for. Because that's a different state. That's a different thing. It's an incomplete sentence. It's an incomplete but, sentence. Like, yeah. But it has no. But it's not. And, and, and like the the other thing that would be like, also totally legal to say, uh, that it would be very uh, poetic for me to be in the film. Uh, that was really nice coverage. That, yeah, that was really nice cover graphic. I I wonder why you did film. Good coverage of Big Shorty. Yeah, you know, like. Big Shorty was given a layup, and he swished it. Yeah. You know? It, it, it was a really impressive little like, layup. I, I think you know, something that we should have criticized a lot of players before. They're, like, they're giving, like, the win, or, like, the kill, and then they just, like, completely with it, right? Yep. Uh, but that was just good. Like, if there's one thing I can give to Big Shorty, but compared to, like, most of the players in this, like, skill level, when Big Shorty is given the ability to, like, ruin your day, like, he takes it. Oh, yeah. And because he's always looking for it. Yeah. He always <laughs> wants to ruin your day. Like, he... He's, it's weird, he's a hype beast on a character, but he doesn't do that. No, yeah, and he, he like, professes that, like, God, I wish I could do two things, but, so, like, this character just doesn't allow that, right? No, like, you can play another one, dog. <laughs> There's even sword characters that are cool. Yeah. Like, um, give me a second. Roy, Roy can do that. Yeah. Yes, Roy. Roy or Krom, they're both, like, cool. Yeah. You know and what? one of them's pretty good. Yeah, and if you're not black, you can play Roy. Sorry, I mean... It's gonna be a while, folks, so yeah. go ahead, strap in! For another exciting, exciting, um, I hope they don't match. put that magic on. Like, oh, Vulcan, like, it's arcade, it's special. But also, that would mean finding a couple of, like, really, really top eight seconds. Which would be a little unfortunate. You know, the other topic, the football would be pretty good on. Oh, right, no. We didn't play any of seven. This didn't play any of seven. Not that bad. I, I like, I prefer the ladders policy on that. Play, uh, play a seven, then play a fifth. Yeah, I yeah. Agree. I think I, I like always try to get that to happen whenever I like uh, run so like it, sometimes it's like uh Big Shorty getting the stock taken there. Uh honestly, he's been speeding the game up a lot. Yeah. And I think that and has think been largely to his benefit. I think the other big thing is that like he is I think I mentioned this when it was a uh, hard uh playing you know, around the can rather than into it. Exactly. Like your ideal position, regardless of like your space, like your position on the screen, is between can and spec. Um, 
so, you know, and sometimes, you know, again, that kind of doesn't give you that position, right? And you have to sort of, you know, force it. You have to pick something a little not great. But, you know. Ooh, that was a really nice little like, short up roll there. I would like to see a bit more throw. That's the, uh, that's the thing that you do eventually when you're a, a power player. Just up tilt! It'll work. It'll work. If you, like, if you up tilt randomly, it's like shockingly accurate. It doesn't look that good. It's like, so accurate. It's all strong. Yeah. Because it's fire, you know, fire doesn't get weaker. <laughs> you can't balance this character, it's not weak. Yeah. Uh, power when you're ledge trapping in general, but I think Twizzy going high really made that a bad idea for, um, Victoria. Yeah. I mean, you know, Harvard's like the thing is high. How did that happen? Did Victoria just not have a jump? Interesting. Huh. That's a little bit of Busy being given kind of a freebie there. Yeah. Even more damage. Big Shorty kind of giving away a lot of free percent here for no good reason. That being said, like, you need, just sometimes you're allowed to make it. Uh, you need to go back to the. Yeah, it's busy. He's playing very, very well here to cover their stuff. But Big Shorty just feels like he's not giving himself the. And. He doesn't go for the opposite. That being said, there is like the big shorty factor of like, if Big Twizzy does one bad disadvantage state off him, Big Shorty will be there. Catch it! Is it open arms? arms. This is up to much open right? Oh, nice a lot. So, Big Shorty. He he needs to get Twizzy off stage. That is the only way that you win. You need to be going throwing F tilts, forward airs. Can't be looking for the kill right now. Those downers are so goddamn telegraphed. Everybody knows they're coming. Everybody knows you want that. Does it? Oh, uh, really good coverage there by um, uh, Twizzy. And the fat gunman. That guy is strong. He not even falling apart, just like running into shit. Just running into shit, yeah. Which like you don't have to just come back, right? It's just you can't have to be consistent with that. Exactly. Well field, I think how that goes. And it looks like Big Shorty doesn't know about it either. Yeah, I like this a lot more. Yeah. Like giving Big Twizzy like any more of a chance to stage than you don't think. And you know, you already know, Big Twizzy banned Paul Bash and his follow for... Yep. So, D Twizzy almost has a ticket uh, to her own guaranteed fourth place, and probably higher. She's playing really well, really well tonight. Yeah, and if your are either, what, Mike Kirby or... Kirby, I'm happy with either. I mean, I think, you know, they're both hard to not great options for them, but... Look at this! This is nice! Oh this is God. This That's is... Still hate. This is a terrible, terrible fucking matchup for <laughs> Duck Hunt. This is abysmal! Like, the, the concept alone of Mithra Nair just gives this character Ajita. Like, <laughs> it's tough for them. And add to even, that... Even Pyro Nair is kind of, like, messed up for this, right? Yeah! Like, it's so hard to deal with! And Clay Pigeon, oh god. A character this fast against Clay Pigeon, you run Clay Pigeon full stage, and Mithra could, on reaction, dash attack you for it. I think the big thing is that uh, Pigeon is choosing like, the same like approach at every single point, and so eventually D Twizzy is going to Well, because, it's, because D Twizzy has to card cover. No, exactly. So if you, if you at one point fade back, land, and then come from the ground, D Twizzy has to confer, uh, like guarantee go for that 45. Yeah. It's just that at some point, Big Shorty should probably just like. Ooh, Good little forward air there! Twizzy! Ooh, that could have been an up smash. Sure. Yeah, Hayden needed to go high there. As soon as you realize that Twizzy is doing that, you need to put something in her way. You know, Once you let her over the stage, she's getting back. Phenomenal bad. coverage by uh, Big Shorty. Nice tomahawk. Oh boy. Uh, I think maybe could have found a Nice. Twizzy being a little bit conservative on this ledge trap, but working out, keeping center stage, forcing Big Shorty to jump on top, quick up smash to seal the deal. And between, again, between Duck Hunt and Ken, right? Like, 
the hunt retreating behind the cam. Exactly. Like, you sort of... I, I like that. Oh, yeah. Chance of a kill. Chance of a kill, and also it's like, you have, like, an idea about what that one's doing. This is damage. Oh, you can go the other way. Duck Hunt is so... Duck Hunt is the same way as Zelda. Yeah. So goddamn light. Unfortunately, the king goes away here, but that means... Perfect shorty. Yeah. Oh the big God. shorty classic, but he gets reversal, and you're probably just dead. Like, that is just an unrecoverable path. This is what the Mac would have made about. Yeah. <laughs> like, we need actual bad recoveries, fellas. Nice straight for big shorty. I think this is going to be impossible. Oh, maybe not. Oh, Twizzy. No, Finding no. a lot of mustard there. And there's the telegraph I, down there. We okay, love to see it. Is it mixing up the other, like, tomahawk options, like, fade back forward air options? No, it's not. It's just not going up the back of, like, your pension. That's no way! That does it! Big Shorty uh, shaking his head. D Twizzy moves on to loser semis. Uh, so I think Big Shorty 